Good morning, everybody. Tom G. here, ALW Precision Shooters. Uh, it's been a while since I've been able to shoot a video. It's been a busy summer, uh, but here it is, fall time. Uh, leaves are changing, beautiful colors right now. It's going to be a pretty nice day. It's overcast right now, but it's supposed to be uh, supposed to get up into the 60s and actually be pretty decent tomorrow. So I'm going to try to get out, shoot a couple videos, and hopefully get something posted for everybody. Um, I have a new addition to my AR here that I'm going to talk about today. I've got a Black Rain AR-15, and I actually have a new scope that I just mounted up. It is the Vortex Viper PST Gen 2, 1 to 6 by 24. Now, I also did get the Vortex, uh, the Precision Cantilever mount in the Zero MOA Cant. Um, so my first impressions, I, I, I really, really like this scope. It, it is awesome. Um, great quality glass. I kept hearing about, you know, the quality of the glass for the Gen 2 versus the Gen 1. And I did have a, um, I did have a Vortex HST prior to this uh, on a different gun, but it was okay. But this thing, this thing is fantastic. Uh, glass quality is top-notch. The sight picture looking through this thing is awesome. Reticle is very clear, very crisp, uh, not too big. It is a second focal plane scope. It does have the short cap turrets, which I didn't know if I'd like that uh, since all of my other scopes uh, are the tactical style, but with this being a basically a, a close quarter or a short range gun, it actually works very well. Um, has does have an illuminated reticle in the center which works very well you can put this thing up to 10 power and you can actually see it very well during the day so I I, I like everything about this uh, I used to have a red dot on here and there's no comparison between this and a red dot I, I think if you put one of these on uh, you will not be disappointed it, it is really really top-end scope I, I like it for the money I don't think you can beat it, beat it. I, I did get the uh, the power lever lock ring to go on here. Um, I think it was 60 bucks or whatever it was. And wow, is that a nice addition too. The, the magnification ring, it, it's pretty snug. I mean, it's pretty tight to, to run that thing back and forth. But when you put this locking ring on there, boy, does that make it smooth, smooth and simple. It is really, really a nice setup. So. My plan today is hopefully get out there and get some videos for you guys. I did have an opportunity to sight this thing in. I sighted it in one night this week after I got it mounted up. And I'm very happy with, with the way this thing dials in. It didn't take too many shots to get it on paper and then uh, just a handful to get it sighted in pretty much where I wanted it. I might tweak it a little bit, uh, get an opportunity to put some more on paper. But I was shooting uh, right at right at one inch groups, just a little bit over. And I think under the circumstances, that's pretty good. I would have liked to have been under an inch, but I'll take it. Uh, okay, well, we're gonna get this thing out on the range today and uh, hopefully get, get some good action videos. And uh, bye for now. I'm just going to do some quick shots right here. We're going to go uh, 185 out to 300 just using the reticle. Just dialing in and see how it works. Uh, and then I'll probably get a few videos uh, of maybe some close quarter stuff down on the uh, pistol range. And we'll give it a go and see how it runs. So here we go. All right, so the first shot is going to be at uh, 185 yards. I'm just going to use the dial in on the reticle. I'm not going to adjust the turrets at all. And uh, based on the info from Vortex, uh, each hash mark on this thing is 4 MOA. So the actual dial in would be a little less than 2. 
So I'm just going to do a holdover and we'll see if the reticle is accurate. So here we go. First shot. Uh, Jimmy, you ready? Ready. Yeah. Pretty good, right? Yep. Got a little bit of wind, so I'm going to try to hold over for that. Dead center. That was almost dead center. All right. I'm going to go out to 250 and try that one. Here we go. Bullseye. Wow. All right, well, I guess it's on. Let me try it again. Just below the bullseye? Yep. I was actually aiming off the bullseye, hoping we could see it hit on the white, so that's good. Uh, there's also a head shot at uh, 250. I'm going to try that. That's the target just above it, Jim. Yep. What did it miss by? I think it missed it just a tad bit right. Like okay, I was aiming a touch right for the win. Let me go back dead center. Here we go. Hit. Shot right in the neck. Right in the neck. Okay, I probably need to hold up just a little more. Let's try one more. Here we go. It's a little bit higher than it. Okay. Well, let's go on out to uh, 275. That's the next target. And uh, we'll do a holdover on it, too. Here we go. Yeah. A little bit low. Let me come up a little more. Wow. I was actually trying to hit that. Uh, believe it or not, I was trying to do that. Let me try that again. Let me actually aim for the bullseye using the holdover and see if we can do it again. Here we go. That looks like it's just on the Right side, looks like you hit white. Right side of the bullseye or what? Right side, like if you would have been just a little bit higher, you would have been in the bullseye. Okay, all right. So it's it's pretty accurate. I mean, it's pretty well on. I'm very happy with that. Uh, the clarity of this thing is just awesome. So now I'm going to shoot the big plate out at uh, 300. We'll try that. Should I move this, Dad? Yeah, go ahead and move it up, Jimmy. So you can't see the 300. Right. Plate. Dead center. I was doing a 4 MOA holdover and I was aiming at the center of the plate. So that is, wow, that is pretty darn good. All right, let me try, uh, let me just throw a few more in here. I'm going to try something else real quick. These bullets that I'm shooting are actually hand loads that I did. I'm shooting a 69 grain uh, PPU match ammo and uh, seems, to be, uh, seems to be pretty well dialed in. That's what I actually sighted the scope in on. So let's, uh, let's run a few more and uh, we'll see how this thing works. What are you shooting at? I'm going to shoot the 300. I'm going to shoot some fairly quick ones using the holdover. Okay. Well, quick for me. Ready? Yep, send it. Hit. There you hit. Those are all pretty well in the center of the plate. Uh, yeah, uh, your 
first one you hit, you hit in the same bullseye the first time you shot it. Then you went down to the right and then up and then back down in the same spot. Wow. I All right, guys, all clear. Um, just, uh, just a few last thoughts on this Vortex Viper PST Gen 2, 1 to 6 by 24. Nothing but good things about it. So if you're interested in looking for one of these Vortex Gen 2s, I don't think, I don't think you can go wrong for the money. That's all I've got for now. Thanks for watching. Feel free to check out our other videos on our channel. Bye for now.